My uh, next guest wrote and directed Boogie Nights, and his latest film, Magnolia, has already won numerous awards, including a Golden Globe Award for Tom Cruise. Please welcome Paul Thomas Anderson. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Well, thanks for having me. I, uh, I love this movie, Magnolia. It's and uh, not just me. Everybody's talking about this film. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they say nice things about it. It's uh, it, it defies description a little bit. So I'm not. Gonna, I don't think we should get into trying to explain. Okay. I think people should go see this movie numerous times. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> ten times <laughs> at least. Uh, Performances are great, and I wanted to start off by saying I think that the the first movie that you did that really caught my attention was Boogie Nights. Yeah, yeah. And I could tell when you see the movie that here's someone, you didn't just sort of go at the surface of the porn industry. Yeah. It felt like you understood this industry. <laughs> how, now, how did you how did you get interested in the subject of porn? And if that's not a stupid question, what is? Um, like any young boy, you know. I just. You read about porn in history books. Well, no, I, I, grew, I grew up in the San Fernando Valley, which is the capital of porn production. And that's not you. that's not what San Fernando calls it. Yeah. Um, and it's not on their license plate. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, where I went to high school, there's like a lot of warehouses, you know, and they all had signage except you'd, you'd get to one and it would have no signage uh -huh. and like really fancy cars parked out front. Mm -hmm. And if you're completely perverted, you just think there's <laughs> porno in there. I know it. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and that's the way you'd say it too. There's porno in there. I can just tell there's porno. Uh, now, uh, one of the scenes that, of course, everyone talks about in that movie mm -hmm. is uh, where uh, where Marky, Mar what do you call him, Mark Wahlberg? I call him Marky, Marky, but I'm I was his boss, so I can call him Marky. So you could call him Stinky. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, but in that movie, uh, at one point, he is. Please tell me it's a prosthetic penis. I've heard it is. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, <laughs> this giant penis, and yeah. then I've heard yeah. that yeah. that that uh, it got lost, or that somebody else has no, it. No, no. Uh, well, Marky probably told you that because he still has it. He. <laughs> I know for I know for a fact. I went over to his house and I and I said, "Do you still have it?" And he said, "Yeah." And he pulled out this plastic bag, like Ziploc baggie. Right. You know, and it, there there it is. But but those, that's but, where you'd keep it. <laughs> I was like, you know, but those things they don't last for. They start to it's disintegrate. You know, it's plastic. The, the fake ones. Yeah. <laughs> fake yeah. ones. Okay. <laughs> um, no, but it's 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 Marky has it. So okay. Yeah. All right. I had to get you know. This is Warren Beatty actually called me the other day. <laughs> I was asking for it. Where is it? Yeah. I want that damn thing. He, he did. Yeah, everyone's looking for it. <laughs> like, we all need a little help sometimes. Oh, no, all right. <laughs> Gotta move this thing along. I... Come on, this is... We're offending people at 3 o'clock in the morning in Houston. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about now Magnolia. These are amazing performances. And there's, there's, uh, I, I, there's, not one, there's not one bad or flawed performance in this whole thing like I would know, but uh, oh, wow. it seemed great to me. Tom Cruise, of course, got this Golden Globe. Yeah. And he plays, it's a fascinating character, he plays a sort of, tell it, us. It, it's actually based on real life guys who do this. They teach courses on how to seduce women. And uh, they, they, they have some of the most insane techniques that you, you, you can't imagine that it's something that really happens, but these guys teach sort of empowerment courses to men on how to... Men on how they can go out there and get a woman. And, and, and yeah, get that naughty sauce is how the way Tom describes it in the movie. Not necessary to bring that up. Uh, <laughs> now, now uh, one, of the, one of the things... One of the things that I really... One of the things that, that fascinated me about this is that before the movie came out, mm -hmm. you actually made an ad with Tom Cruise and you put it into late night TV across the country. It's sort right? of our equivalent of the infomercial that you had made. Right. Uh, it's sort of uh, Tom's character in the movie does make infomercials. So sort of one of the ideas was on my own, I, I bought late night television time slots. And you can gobble it up for like $200. You can get like a six hour chunk. So I don't know what they're doing, you know. I mean, I, yeah. After, after 12.30, it's pretty much a wasteland, isn't it, to you, Paul? It, it really is. I mean, Film lasts forever! <laughs> yeah, this no. This crap. 
I, I mean, I, I just paid for it myself. Yeah, and, all right. Um, you put it on your Amex, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, but we did, we did. It was, uh, I, I, it was sort of an, you know, I don't know. This is a cool idea because people seeing it didn't know. They're, they're just seeing this ad with Tom Cruise. It's kind of amazing because it did, it did. I stayed up one night to watch it, and, and, and at a certain point you're so tired, you're just sort of vaguely watching TV, and there's sort of the golf commercial, like right. had a new golf grip, and then Tom Cruise, and then, you know, like a lawnmower commercial, and I was... Just it doesn't make sense. It I freaks people out. Well, let's and people thought this was real. Let's let's That's show true. the ad It'll and then talk about the reaction. Yeah. Take a look at this ad that they really ran with uh, Tom Cruise in it. I don't care how you look. I don't care what car you drive. I don't care what your last bank statement says. Seduce and destroy produces an instant money back guaranteed trance like state that will get you this naughty sauce you want fast. <laughs> He's good at that. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, so what were, <laughs> were people calling, I mean, people were calling the number, is yeah, that right? Yeah, yeah. What, what kind of comments were you getting from people who called the number? Well, it was, uh, uh, it, uh, it was a scary combination of, of guys who were wanting to order it, which made me a little bit nervous about continuing to run it, but... I can explain my call, by the way. <laughs> but then there was, there, was this, there was this one guy who called up who was really upset, who thought it was like sort of a, a direct line to Tom Cruise just saying, man, you're a sellout, man. <laughs> you know? You, pro you, probably, you probably got like $10,000 for that, and that's just, that's, that's screwed up, man. You know? <laughs> I liked you before, but now, no, nah, I'm over you. <laughs> so I thought that was, that was Very funny. kind of interesting. Now, the critics, uh, uniformly, they, they really love this movie, Magnolia. They're... they're it, it can't be for everybody. There's got to be some people who maybe it's too unusual for them. What, what kind of response do you get from them? How can you tell if someone just couldn't get into it for yeah. whatever reason? They generally just start talking about boogie nights, you know? <laughs> they switch <laughs> over. Yeah, they're like, that was, oh, hey, man, good to see you. Do you remember that scene in Boogie Nights? When, right, you right. Know, and I'll, I'll just sort of instantly know. Yeah. That, well, I don't think you'd be getting that very much because, as I've said, it's, it's just a fascinatingly original. Thank you. It's a great movie, and uh, go out and see this film, and no one listens to me, so don't feel good about this. Okay. But uh, Magnolia is in theaters now, and uh, Paul Thomas Anderson, best of luck to you. Thank you very much. Phenomenally talented guy. Paul Thomas Anderson, we'll uh, take a little break. When we come back, Jack Ingram going to be here, so stick around. That was great.